I got into a Twitch uh, two years ago because um, a friend of mine said, you know, you should stream. You, you have like funny because I started playing a game like role playing. Uh, mm -hmm. It was called Reign of Kings. And basically it was, uh, I was just doing a far funny character. I used to do like an Arnold impersonation and people <laughs> liked it. And that's how it started for me, um, like two years ago. And then I got into a game called Ark Survival Evolved, which mm -hmm. is a survival game. And that became very popular. I, get, I got a lot of like following from that. I got like, you know, 20,000 followers. I got my partnership on Twitch. I got a lot of viewers. So my stream was actually growing this year around, uh, February, March, this new game, Player Knows Battlegrounds, came up, and you know a lot of Twitch streamers were playing it. It, it just, it's massive. Like it's grown so much. The game is really good, and obviously, since I've been playing it since the beginning, I have the advantage of um, being there at the baby steps. You know, when you when you start playing a game at the beginning, you just have the advantage. So I've been playing that since the beginning, and uh, you know, competing. There's like leaderboards. I've been rank one in NA solos, rank one in EU against like thousands of people. So I've been like on the top level all this time. And now that uh, there was a tournament officially announced, the tournament in Gamescom in Germany, a, like a three hundred fifty thousand dollar prize pool. A lot of organizations are looking at it. You know, a lot of organizations are seeing uh, um, an opportunity to get into this game. So that's when Team Liquid approached us. Because uh, we had like a team already and they, they approached us and, you know, here we are. <laughs> so what does a contract entail? What does it offer you? It's basically, I mean, since it's an early game, they don't want to, the organizations don't like jump in, like they just jump in, like not knowing what's the future. But like it's a one year contract right now for us. Um, we get like a lot of sponsorships, like um, like PCs, chairs, peripherals, everything that we want, you know, Monster Energy, they give us a lot of stuff. Um, they, they obviously send us to boot camp whenever tournaments are, like in the Netherlands, they have a boot camp in California as well. If there's any tournaments in America, they'll send us there, everything paid for, and we also get like a, a, our own salary. You left the secure position in the, the civil service. What prompted you to quit your day job to devote yourself full time to gaming as a profession as well? You only live once, right? I mean, as far as we know, we don't know the what that's <laughs> out there, but, you know, we only live once and, you know, I had a, I had a nice job in the government, right? It was a nice job for people in gym. For, for, for me, it wasn't a nice job. You know, I don't want to wake up nine to five like everyone else and not be happy with what I'm doing. I want to enjoy my life. I, I got into the government, luckily. Um, I got into that and um, I was just... I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, I, I liked the socializing, the, the people at my work was awesome, and um, but it wasn't for me, it wasn't for me, so uh, I decided to quit, and then at that moment I got into um, streaming, I learned about streaming, and you know, I, I kind of grew kind of big and kind of fast, so it was just the right moment and the right time for me to, to, to do it, you know, pursue my dream, and if, it, if you know, mm -hmm. if in two years time it fails, at least I've done it, you know, at least I've tried it. You know, you have to live the now and not the future. You never know what's going to happen. We're living in an age where technology has moved really fast uh, and the older generation might not understand what the millennials are actually up to and doing. And uh, there are many new professions such as this one. How did your parents react to all this? Yeah, I mean, like all parents say at the beginning, they, they don't really like it. But my, my parents have been super supportive. I know they, they know I love gaming and if they know that because they trust me. If I tell them that this is something I really want to do and I think there's a future in this, they, 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 they've been supporting me since day one, pretty much. Yeah. 